What is up guys? We are facing Magneto on expert mode with Rocket Raccoon. And huge shout out to Brant from Step In and Portal. I know Rocket Raccoon is his guy. And I thought that Magneto would be a really fun matchup because Magneto is a master of magnetism and Rocket has a lot of uh, metal stuff with his uh, weapons and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get uh, Magneto set up here. So with the main scheme, it says to set the orb decay uh, side scheme aside. So we have this set aside out of play. And we also review the boring part of setting right here. Comes in with three threat and says that Manuel cannot have more than six sustained damage. So let's advance the main scheme to stage 1B. It's going to start off here with one threat. Magneto comes in here with steady and toughness. And then let's shuffle up the encounter deck here. Magneto has a one rebuild effect. He says to deal each player a face down encounter card. So we're going to do each player one face down encounter card to start this game off. And then let's shuffle up our player deck here. And then we're going to draw up to our hand size of six here in our arch ego. All right, and let's see what we got. We got a suit up, which is the key card in this deck because we want to get Moon Girl out um, and draw a lot of cards. And I like Nick Fury here as well. Other than that, we really just want some resources. So let's Mulligan discard these four cards and then draw four more back up to our hand size of six. We got a resource there and another suit up. Okay, um, let's see. Do we even bother suiting up right now for Moon Girl? Because if we get her, we need our thruster boots to pay for her, I think. I think we actually just get Nick Fury out here and then draw some cards with him. Uh, do we use that? Yeah, let's just get Nick Fury down. Um, I kind of want the Thruster Boots. So let's move, uh, we're gonna use this as four resources right here. So, you know what? I'm gonna use both suit ups. We're gonna use this as four resources here. So we can play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury enters play, choose one. We're gonna pick the one and draw three cards. So one, two, three. Okay, we got a resource. I think we use this to get down um yeah i think that's it okay let's go ahead and flip over here to hero form and, and we're going to play honorary guardian this is a zero cost upgrade play only if your denny has a guardian trait which you do have in our in our hero form here attach it to your friendly character we're going to give us a rocket we get plus one hit point so our hit points go from nine up to ten and we now gain the guardian trait so even though we're in ultra eagle we have the guardian trait now then we're going to use this as a resource so we can play our thruster boots it's a one cost upgrade while in hero form rocket gets plus one thor and gains the arrow trait so we now have three thor this would be a double resource here so we can play citt and salvage says after you spend this card put a tech upgrade from the discard pile on top of your deck so we just spent it we're gonna get a tech card here so let's get our uh i think we're gonna get rocket's pistol it's a tech upgrade we put on top of our deck here with the effect of salvage all right so rocket has uh or in CITT says, we, as a hero action, we exhaust this card, spend two resources of any type to rate up a guardian character. Rockets go into Thor for three, because we have our Thruster Boots from Boring Party Side Scheme, and bring this, or clear on this, clearing off the Side Scheme. When the Side Scheme is defeated, it's going to flip over to Sabotage Master Mode here, also having three threat. Then we're going to have Nick Fury. Let's just have him Thor for two from the main scheme, clear it off. We take a consequential damage. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're going to draw back up to our hand size here of five in our hero form. Drawing up our pistol. Okay, so uh, it is Magneto's turn. He's gonna add one threat to the main scheme. He's going to attack us. We're gonna have Nick Fury block. Magneto is hitting with a base of three plus a boost card here. A uh, boost effect is to exhaust each ally you control. Nick Fury is already exhausted. So just three damage will knock out Nick Fury. Then with Magneto's uh, force response, after he attacks you, place one mana counter in the main scheme. So we have a mana counter here. When there's three or more, we discard the three mana counters and mill from the encounter until we get a magnetic card and then reveal it. Then during the encounter phase, Magneto will deal his one phase nine counter card for a total of two. First one is Magneto's armor. Attached to, Magne atta attached to Magneto, he can't be stunned and has plus one attack. Last encounter card is the Master of Magnetism. Take the topmost magnetic card in the encounter discard pile, give it to Magneto as a face down boost card. So this is a magnetic card. He's going to activate, so he's going to attack us here. When he attacks, he gets a second boost card. So two boost cards here. Rocket, it's going to take some damage here. Um, 
then we have no choice but just take it. There's no point in blocking it. Let's take the attack to the face. These would be the two boost cards. One, two, three. Boost effect exhausts each you control. We don't have any. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. That brings from 10 all the way down to three here. So we are about to die. And after Manio attacks, he plays a mana counter on the main scheme. All right, and it's back to our turn. So I think we're going to have Rocket Raccoon Thor for three. Clear off Sabotage Master Mode. When the side scheme is defeated, it goes into Victory Display, and we review the Orb of Decay side scheme here, coming in with three threat. All right, then we're going to go ahead and let's use this as four resources. So we can play Avengers Mansion. We can exhaust Avengers Mansion and draw a card. And we're going to use Gamora as a resource, so we can play Rocket's Pistol here. So this pistol comes in with three charge counters. And as a hero action, we can exhaust Rocket's Pistol, remove a charge counter, do two damage to the enemy. So we're going to hit Magneto, knock off his tough status card. And then we are going to flip down here to Ultra Ego and then end our turn. Let's ready back up. And then draw back up to our hands as of six here in Ultra. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm really digging the suit up here. So it is Magneto's turn. He's going to add one threat to the main scheme. He's going to scheme here with a base of 2 plus a boost card here of 3. So scheme for a total of 5, that's going to advance the main scheme. So when that happens, we discard all the mana counters, remove all the threat, and advance the main scheme to stage 2A. 2A says place one mana counter here, so we get one mana counter. If Sabotage Master Mode is not in a victory display, it is in a victory display, so nothing else happens with that. So this scheme is going to start off here with that one mana counter and one threat. And then uh, we can remove this stuff. Okay, then in counter phase, we get dealt one phase down in counter card, which is the Electromagnetic Blast. Oh, that's not good. Exhaust each upgrade support you control. So we're going to exhaust everything and then place one mana counter on the main scheme. So we don't have access to our mansion right now. Um, okay, let's go ahead and use. I think we tinker here. Uh, yeah, let's use tinkering. Action, choosing this card, tech upgrade control. We're going to discard our pistol here. And then once per round, we can do that, and then we can draw two cards. So let's discard it and then draw two. Okay. Next, we're going to use, I think we want resource here and resource here. Uh, these are all mentals. Okay. We're going to use this as two resources so we can play our suit up. This says Ultra Ego Action. Search your deck and discard pile for an ally and an upgrade that can't be attached to ally and add to your hand. So we're going to look through our deck here for a moon girl, which is an ally, and an upgrade that can't be attached to a moon girl is clarity of purpose as a one cost upgrade attached to your friendly character, which includes an ally. So we add to your hand with effective suit up. Then we're going to shuffle up our deck here. All right, that will resolve the suit up. Next, we're going to play moon girl and then we use a salvage. So is there anything that we want from our, let's see, we have a battery pack. We have our park can. Let's check our discard power see if there's any more tech upgrades that we like. The pistols aren't bad, but I don't think we actually need them right now. We have another one left in the deck. Yeah, we're not gonna use it um, or the effect of the, the response to salvage. Let's go ahead and use this as three resources right here. And the wall is gonna be a mental. So three mental resources so we can play Moon Girl. Moon Girl says, play only if your deck has a champion or genius trait. We are genius here in Arch Ego. After you play Moon Girl from hand, draw one card for each mental resource you use to pay for. So we're going to draw three cards. One, two, three. And with the salvage here, it says, after you spend this card, as a response, you can put tech upgrade from this card on top of your deck. We're not going to trigger it because it's not a force response. So we don't have to trigger it. Um, do we want to? Yeah, we don't have to trigger it. Okay. So this would be a double resource here. So we can play Ingenuity. Ingenuity says, play only if your identity has a genius trait, which we do have in our Ultra Ego here. We can exhaust Ingenuity to generate a mental resource. Uh, do we want to do that? Generate a mental. Oh, he got rid of his thing already. Uh, let's see. I, if I play nowhere, I can make the call. Do we want a Guardian right now? We can only get... Gamora, or uh, what's what's her name? Cosmo here. I like the Cyber Kinetic Skeleton though. Let's see, we don't have any more salvages left in the deck. Yeah, it's not the best thing. Unless we don't go for nowhere. 
and we go for our skeleton then we can knit the call and get another ally i kind of feel like we need another ally here those things are looking kind of scary uh yeah i think we need an ally uh, let's see can moon girl hold us for a round we need to be greedy to get the skeleton out and get nowhere out i'm not sure okay let's go ahead and exhaust your card by three that'll bring us from three back up to six hit points here um and then i think i have to play the skeleton here and then after we do that if we use this to play a skeleton we can either play nowhere i think we just get nowhere down um let's check our discard power do we have another make the call or another guardian here okay we have made the call coming up so we're not going to worry about that let's go ahead and head and exhaust ingenuity generate a mental resource this would be a second resource here so we can play our cyber kinetic skeleton you get plus three hit points and while in hero form rock gets plus one attack so our hit points go from six up to nine and our max hit point uh, is now 13 with the honorary guardian and cyber kinetic skeleton then we're going to use this as two resources so it can play nowhere oh wait, wait we can't play it yet because we only play this card if we have the guardian trait so Oh, actually, we have the Guardian trait because Honorary Guard. So actually, yeah, this would be two resources here, so we can play nowhere. We only play, so we have the Guardian trait, which you do have, thanks to the Honorary Guardian right here. And then uh, increase your ally limit by one, so we can now have four allies. As a response, after a player plays a Guardian ally, we can exhaust nowhere, and then that player draws a card. Let's flip over here to Hero Form. And the Moon Girl is going to... Let's just swing for two at Magneto. That's going to be our first damage to this game, bringing from 20 down to 18. She's going to take two consequential damage, and that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. Bring up all of our tech and upgrades that got exhausted. And then we're going to draw back up to our hand size of 5 here in hero form. Okay, the Mate Call here is good. Okay, and Major Victory. Okay, Magneto's turn. He's going to add uh, 1 to the main scheme. He's going to attack us here. Moon Girl will block. He's sitting with a base of 3 plus a boost card here of 3. So a total of, or he's sitting with a base of 4, I mean. So plus 3 is going to be 7 damage. Knocks out Moon Girl. Then uh, after he attacks, force response, we place a mana counter on the main scheme. When there's three counters, we discard three counters, and we mill from the encounter until we get a magnetic card. So let's discard here until we get that magnetic card. We've gone right here, and then we reveal it. And then a missile says, surge. Whenever you defeat a sentinel minion play, there are no sentinel minions, so it just surges into cut off guard. Discard an upgrade or support your control. Let's discard the honorary guardian here. And then we lose one hit point because we lost that plus one hit point from this. So we go from nine down to eight. And then it's going to be the encounter phase where Magneto uses a face down encounter card. We reveal it, which is wrapped in metal, attached to your identity. Attached identity cannot thwart, attack, defend, or recover. We have to exhaust ourselves and spend a physical resource to discard this card. All right, back to our turn. Let's mansion so we can draw a card. Okay, let's see here. I think I want to get out some allies here. We play major victory. Uh, I could draw as a card. Okay, let's use Ingenuity to generate. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Or do we make the call into Nick? So we're going to deck out her three cards left. Maybe we make the call into... Uh, we need a physical resource, right, to spend. We need the Heli Carrier. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and use this action here first. On the route to middle, exhaust your identity, spend a physical resource. Helicare is a physical resource, so we can discard this card. So now we can uh, Thor attack, defend, and recover. Okay, uh, is there any way for us to... Oh, wait, if we... Yeah, that would actually work here. Uh, I think that is definitely the play. So I think we play major victory first. We draw a card and make the call. Okay. Let's use Ingenuity to generate a mental resource. This will be second resource here, so we can play Major Victory. Major Victory is a Guardian ally, so when he enters play, we can exhaust nowhere. When a player plays a Guardian ally, we can exhaust nowhere and then draw a card. Okay, and then we're going to use, we're going to play Make the Call here. So it says, pay the printed cost of an ally in any player's discard pile. We're going to pay the cost of three for Professor X here. So we have three cards in our hand and three resources here. Play X from our discard pile. Okay, when Professor X enters play, choose one. We're going to pick the one to confuse the villain, so we're going to confuse Magneto. 
Manu has steady, so he's not fully confused right now. His armor prevents him from being stunned, but he can be confused because we already uh, the helmet got discarded already as a boost. X, Professor X is going to throw for three and clear out the Orbital Decay side scheme here. When this side scheme is defeated, it's going to flip over to Physical Strain. Attached to Manu, he loses steady. So now without the steady, he is actually fully confused with just one confused status. Professor X will take a consequential damage. And then major victory is going to... Uh, let's just have him swing for one at Manu. That brings from 18 down to 17. And then major victory takes a consequential damage. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. And we're going to draw back up to our hands list here. Five, draw two cards, and we deck out. So we get a face down encounter card. And we shuffle up our discard power here back to the deck. And draw three more back up to our full hand size. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. So it is Magneto's turn. He's going to add one to the main scheme. It goes up to three. He's going to attack us. We're going to have Professor X block. He's hitting with a base of four plus a boost card here. Boost effect, give Manu a tough stats card. And another face down boost card, which gets flipped here. So it's going to be two, three, four, five, six damage. Knocks out Professor X. Then he gets a mana counter after attacking. Then in counter phase, we can dealt an encounter card for a total of two. First one is Electric Shock. You are, uh, in hero form, you are stunned. Take one damage for each mana counter in the main scheme, so we take one damage. I'll bring us from eight down to seven. And then we get our last encounter card we were doing now, which is the Master Magnetism. Take the topmost mana card in the discard pile. So this card right here, give it to Manu as a face down boost. He's going to attack us here. When he attacks, he gets another card here, or another boost card. So two boost cards here. He's hitting us here. Oh, uh, man. I think I have a bad feeling about major um, getting the thing that deals that if we defeat an ally, it's going to be bad. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do. We just... Yeah, we still need Major Victory to block here. Okay, so Major Victory is going to block here. This would be his boost cards. Uh, exhaust your identity. Okay, so the boost, this is actually really good. The boost effect says here to exhaust your identity, so we get exhausted. And he's hitting us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 damage uh, on Major Victory here. So Major Victory is defeated. Major Victory has to interrupt whenever he is defeated. Choose a friendly guardian character. We're going to choose Rocket. We are a guardian here. And ready that character back up. So we get ready back up. And after Magneto attacks, he plays the mana counter in the main scheme. And that will resolve Magneto's turn. This is back to us. All right, that was awesome. Uh, let's exhaust Mation to draw a card. We drew into the Heli Carrier. So I want to flip down here for sure. Uh, do I... Let's see. If I play Honorary Guardian, I play the pistol, we can tinker the pistol again, draw, draw two more cards to get this back. Um, I mean, we might as well, right? Okay, let's go ahead and play Honorary Guardian. Attach, play only if your identity has a Guardian here, which you do have in our hero form. We're going to attach it to ourselves again, so we get that plus one hit point back again. So we go from seven up to eight. And now we have the Guardian Tree even in our Alter Ego. Then it just removes our stun, which I think I'm fine doing. Uh, let's see, we get the pistol down. Yeah, let's exhaust Ingenuity to generate a mental resource so we can play Rocket's pistol as the three counters. We're going to exhaust the pistols, remove a counter, hear Ash and attack, do two damage to enemy. We're going to hit Manu for two, but we're stunned, so it just removes our stun status card. Then we're going to flip down to Ultra here. Trigger our Tinkering action. Once per round, choose and discard tech, upgrade control. Let's discard our pistol again. And we can draw two cards. So one, two. Okay, next we want to play a suit up here. So this would be two resources here. So we can play suit up. Alter Ego Action, search your deck and discard file for an ally, and upgrade the can be attached to ally. So we're going to get Moon Girl again. Uh, where is she? Over here. And upgrade that can be attached to her is going to be the Clarity of Purpose. Add that to your hand, and we're shuffle up our deck, resolving the effects of Suit Up. Okay. Then we're going to play Moon Girl, because we, ha uh, we have the Genius Trait here in our Alter Ego, using three mental resources right here. So we can play Moon Girl. And then we can draw three cards because we use three mental resources to put her down. So 
one, two, three. And then, oh, I'm tempted. I like the suit up here. Is there? Oh, we have Maria Hill. Yeah, that would be the play. I like major victory here as well, actually. Do we want to get major victory instead of Maria Hill? Because if we draw a card, it doesn't do anything for us because I'm holding the suit up in our hand. Yeah, let's play and make the call here. Pay the printer cost some ally and any player just got five. Put the ally in your play under your control. We're going to get major victory here. So we're going to put him into play, paying two cost for him, two resources here. We get him into play, and then I'm not sure if um, this counts as playing a guardian ally because major cost is put into play. So uh, we won't trade the effects of no one, but we don't need to draw a card anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and exhaust to recover by three. That brings from eight back up to 11. So we can get healthy a little bit. Moon Girl is going to Thor for two from the main scheme, bring it down to one. And a major victory is going to swing for one at Magneto, or Moon Girl first takes two cost card damage. Major victory swings at one at Magneto now to knock off his tough stats card, and then he will take a cost card damage. And then we're going to save Pseudo in her hand. Let's end our turn and ready back up. I think we're looking really good here. We're going to draw back up to our hand size here of six, giving the suit up in her hand. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, Magneto's turn. He's going to place one on the main. He's going to scheme, but he is confused, so nothing happens. And then there's no mana counters or anything. In counter phase, you get one encounter card, which is Magneto Missile. Defeats the minion play. There are none, so it just surges into Fabian Cortez. So, we got a minion here with uh, teamwork and villainous. And a player who defeats him, we have this card from counter until we get Acolyte Minion and put it into play. Okay, right, it's back to our turn. Let's exhaust Avengers Mission so we can draw a card here. And we've gone to a battery pack. I definitely want to salvage here. Uh, let's see if we... No, we use this for suit up and we salvage Moon Girl. Okay. Uh, let's see. How can we do... If he swings for one, he can ready up Rocket Raccoon. Hmm, I think we need to Rocket Launcher. No, Rocket Launcher does two damage. Ooh, I kind of want to... Let's see, we want to salvage for our big gun, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, Moon Girl is going to swing for two at Fabian Cortez. She'll take consequential, consequential damage. She gets defeated here. We're going to use a double resource here so we can play suit up. After you action, search your deck and discard pile for an ally. So our discard pile here for Moon Girl. An upgrade can be attached to her. It's going to be a fairy purpose again. And a suit up says you shuffle up your deck. So let's just shuffle it anyways. Even though we didn't look through it. All right, that's going to resolve suit up. Now we're going to use this as three resources. So we can play Moon Girl, and the wild here is going to be a mental resource, so three mental resources. And then we can trigger the effects of Salvage. It's a response after you spend this card. Put a tech upgrade from your discard pile on top of your deck. We're going to get our, uh, where is it? our Particle Cannon, which is a tech upgrade, and put it on top of our deck. And then when Moon Girl enters play, we can play her because we have the Genius Trait. We're going to draw three cards using three mental resources. So we're going to draw the Particle Cannon back up, and two more cards as well. And we got our pistols here too. So the question is, do we play Nick? We play Nick, we're going to use this stuff. It will draw us three. We can get the part of the cannon and the battery pack. Yeah, I think that's definitely the play. Okay, let's exhaust ingenuity, generate a mental resource. This will be three more resources, I think. Uh, actually, let's check our discard pile. Do we have another? Let's keep this. Uh, ready up right now before I forget. So do we have another salvage? We have another salvage. We have another battery pack. Yeah, we have another battery pack in our deck. Okay, so that's good. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna use Ingenuity, Generate, and Mentor Resource. Three more resources here for a total of four. So we can play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury enters play, choose one. We pick the one and draw three cards. So one, two, three. And we don't need to suit up here. I think we just do the original plane here. Oh, wait a minute. We could actually hold on and see what else we can do. Uh, then we definitely lose a suit up. So this would be three resources here. So we can play our particle cannon. 
It's a three cost upgrade. Comes in with two charge counters. As a hero action, we can exhaust it, remove a charge counter to do four damage to the enemy, and the attack has overkill and ranged. Uh, and then we're not going to tinker right here. So we're going to flip over here to hero form. And then we're going to trigger our particle cannon, exhaust it, remove a charge counter, four damage to the enemy with uh, overkill and ranged. So four damage on Fabian Cortez is going to defeat him. And then uh, he has two hit points left, so that's uh, excess damage. Murder you says after you do excess damage to the enemy, which we're doing right now, we can draw a card. So we can draw a card with the effect of murder you. And then Fabian Cortez dies, two damage bleeds over to Magneto. That will bring him from 17 down to 15. Fabian Cortez has a when defeated effect. When he's defeated, we discard press from the counter deck until we get Acolyte Minion, then put it into play. So hopefully we don't mill out too much cards here because I like what's this been discarded. Okay, we've got Acolyte Minion here. So about half of the encounter deck left. Okay, so Sanyaga comes into play uh, with Fabian Cortez's effect, and now it, it's engaged uh, with us. Okay, and then we have the Power Cannon exhausted. Okay, so we're still good here. And then let's see, do we... I want to do excess damage to Rocket has two attack. Uh, so we can draw a card to get down our pistols. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to hold on a little bit longer here. Let's have Moon Girl... Swing for two at Sanyaka. Moon Girl will take two consequential damage. Then Rocket Raccoon is going to swing for two. We're going to do excess damage to him because he has one hit point left and knock him out. When he's defeated, the player who defeats him gets stunned. Since we dealt excess damage with our murder you, the response is we can draw a card. We got a salvage. Uh, what other? I think I want the battery pack now. Yeah, for sure, want the battery pack. Let's go ahead and use Salvage as a resource so we can play our rapid response. So after we use Salvage, we can get a tech upgrade from your discard pile and put it on top of your deck. Let's get our battery pack here and put it on top of our deck. It's a tech upgrade. And then uh, we're going to use this double resource here so we can play Rocket's Pistol. This will come in here with three charge counters. And it's restricted, so we only have two restricted cards. The particle can and the pistol are our two restricted cards. Let's exhaust the pistol, remove a charge counter, hero action attack, do two damage to the enemy. We are stunned, so that just removes our stun status. Then we're going to have Nick Fury, uh, should we Thor? Now let's Thor for two from the main, clear it off. we take a consequential damage. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. All right, and I think we are pretty much fully built out here. So we're ready to start putting on damage on uh, Magneto. Let's draw up to our hand size here of five. We got two battery packs, which I like a lot, in a blaze. Okay, uh, so Magneto's turn, he's going to add one to the main. He's going to attack us here. Nick Fury will block. He's in with a base of four, plus a boost card here of two. So six damage. Knocks out Nick Fury. After Magneto attacks, he gets a mana counter. There's three, so we discard three mana counters. Move from the encounter until we get a magnetic card. Just hopefully not a lot of cards here. So no magnetic cards yet. We got one. It's going to be his magnetic bubble. Attached to Magneto, he has retaliate one. When he would take any amount of damage, place it here instead. Then there's, if there's eight or more, this card is card. And we get a face down encounter card now during the encounter phase, which is in advance. So Magneto is going to scheme with a base of two, plus a boost card here of one. So we got luck with that. He's only scheme for three. So he does not pop the stage. And whenever he schemes, he doesn't place a magnetic counter. So nothing else helps with that. Okay. So I think we did everything. Okay, it's so back to our turn. Let's exhaust mansion, draw a card. Okay, uh, let's see, I like these battery packs a lot. We have no way to get allies out this turn, so I think we have to hold on with our allies here. And yeah, we're not really gonna be able to build too much here. Let's go ahead and exhaust ingenuity to generate a mental resource. And we're going to put a battery pack down. Uh, we have not enough space for stuff, so let's move everything aside a little bit. And we're going to put a battery pack down right here. So battery pack has two charge counters. We're going to exhaust a battery pack. Let's do it to move a charge counter from this card to another tech upgrade. Let's put it on our particle cannon. All right. And then do we play a second battery pack? Play a reload. And then just get rid of his bubble. 
Um, that's true. He's going to deck out soon, right? One, two, three, four cards left. Uh, he probably won't deck out this turn. I don't like him decking out at all. Uh, that's fine. Okay, we're going to use this as a resource so you can play a second battery pack. We have two charge counters. We're going to go ahead and just exhaust it now to move a charge counter to our particle cannon. So the particle cannon has three counters on here. Let's exhaust the particle cannon. So we're going to do four damage to an enemy. The attack has ranged. So uh, four damage on manual. It all goes on his bubble because while it's in play, all the damage goes on the bubble. And then since it has range, he's not going to retaliate even though he has the bubble there. Okay. Then do I go ahead and just reload here? Uh, we could have Moon Girl die. No, we need to, we're going to get an extra encounter card right now because we're going to deck out. So I think we use the Blaze here. Yeah, let's use Blaze Blur as a resource to play Reload. Hero Action, ready each tech upgrade you control. So we're going to ready out the battery packs and our uh, Particle Cannon. All right, then we're going to use the Particle Cannon again, exhaust it. Remove a counter for damage enemy. That's going to go on his bubble and defeat the bubble. So the bubble gets discarded. Then we're going to use our pistol here. Exhaust it, remove a counter. Two damage enemy. We're going to hit manual for two. That brings it from 15 down to 13. And the scheme is at four. I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and uh, swing for two. So we have plus one attack with our skeleton. So that brings it from 13 down to 11. And let's go ahead and exhaust both battery packs here to move both counters to the particle cannon. All right, and then these uh, enter play with two charge counters, but whenever they are, uh, when there's no more counters, they actually stay in play here. Uh, so that is going to, actually, we could CITT. Uh, let's just do it. We're going to exhaust CITT as a hero action, spend two resources of any type, energy here. So we can write up a guardian character. Let's write up Rocky Raccoon. And we're actually just going to Thor here for three from the main scheme. And then that's going to end our turn. We're staying in hero form. It's ready back up. Because we're going to get Manuel decking out here. Or we're going to deck out, I mean. So we're going to get two encounter cards. So I want to stay in hero form uh, to have the allies block if we need to. Okay, so drawing back up to five, ending our turn, we deck out. So we get a phase on encounter card. Shuffle the discard power here back to the deck. All right, and we're drawing four more, so right there. Okay, and then it is Magneto's turn. He's going to add one to the main scheme. He is going to attack us here. I think we're going to have Moon Girl blocks attack. He's going with a base of four plus a boost card here of two. Six damage, knocks Moon Girl out. And then after he attacks, he plays a mana counter in the main scheme. In counter phase, we get dealt an encounter card, so we have a total of two here. First one is Delgado, a minion with brutality and teamwork. And we also got another minion here, Eunice Guillaume, with teamwork and toughness. So since this came out after, or we're playing this game after the Age of Apocalypse, the way teamwork works is that only the new villain that came out is going to activate. So uh, Eunice Guillaume is going to hit us here for two. That'll bring us from 11 down to 9, which is going to take it on Rocky Raccoon. All right, and then that is going to end Magneto's turn, so it's back to us. Okay, and he is decking out his next turn here. So I definitely want the minions back into shuffle because they don't even have guard. Okay, let's exhaust Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. So I've got a plan. Uh, so the goal here is to knock out the minions. Uh, do I let him scheme? I, I think I need to get Moon Girl out instead of X is a thing. Hopefully we can draw another suit up somehow. We also have a reload, which could be useful for the particle cannon. Okay, then we want to do excess damage. Uh, okay, let's see here. We have two attack. Oof, I think we need to kill off major victory in order to get our excess damage here. So he hits for one. We can swing for two. We could also wrap a response him, but I don't. I think I'd just rather make the call. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and have major victory. Swing for one. At oh, he he's gonna get toughness after Eunice Skion. 
let's swing for one at um we're hit oh he has retaliate that's fine it's not that big of a deal okay major is gonna swing for one at delgado Delgado's going to retaliate and knock out major victory oh wait, wait, wait. sorry sorry hold on, hold on uh before we do that um because he can ready us up right so we got to trigger that effect first uh let's have rocket swing for two at delgado first Delgado's going to retaliate hit rocket back for one we draw from nine down eight now major victory is going to swing for one at delgado so three damage on delgado total Elgar retaliates, knocks out major victory. When he's defeated, we can choose a friendly guardian character, rocket, and ready him back up. Okay, now we're going to exhaust our particle cannon, remove a charge counter to do four damage to enemy. Delgado has three hit points left, so that will knock him out. When Del Delgado is defeated, this card each stun and confuse dash from the villain, give him a face down boost card. So he gets a face down boost card here, and then Delgado is defeated. So Manuel decks out now, he gets a Permanent acceleration token on the main scheme, and we're gonna shuffle up the discard power here back to the encounter deck. And then uh, our particle cannon did four damage, Delgado had three hit points, so we did one overkill damage, and the particle cannon is an overkill, so Manuel takes one damage, bringing from 11 down to 10. And with Rocket's effect, after you do excess damage to an enemy, we can draw a card with Murder You. So we're gonna draw a card here. Okay, we want to. Kill Unistion. Do we have rocket attack? Parko Cannon will knock off the tough. Yeah, I think we gotta do that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and have Rocket Raccoon swing for two at Unistion. Knock off her tough stats card. We're going to exhaust our pistol, remove a charge counter, to do two damage to enemy as a hero attack. We're hit unit skill for two. Then we're going to use this as a resource so we can play reload. Here we're actually ready each tech upgrade control. We're going to ready up our pistol and our particle cannon. Then we're going to exhaust the particle cannon. Uh, remove a counter, do four damage to enemy, and attack us overkill. Oops, this should get discarded. So four damage on unit skill is going to knock her out. Just one defeat effect, give the villain a tough stats card. So right when she's defeated, my unit gets toughness. And then uh, two damage on her. Two damage is going to overkill, hit Magneto, which will knock off the tough that he just got. Since we did excess damage, we can trigger Murder You again and draw a card. There's no limit to this. So every single time we do excess damage, we can draw a card. So we can get another card here. We've got the Blaze. Okay. Um, hmm, I think it's a little bit too early for me to get a Blaze there. All right, uh, that's fine. Let's flip over here to Alter Ego. We're use Tinkering Action. Choose in his card tech upgrade control our battery pack. And we can draw uh, two cards. Okay. Then we're going to use this as a double resource. So we can play our suit up. Offer eager action, search your deck and discard pile for an ally and upgrade that can't be attached to ally. So we're going to get Moon Girl here. And clear your purpose and an upgrade that can't be attached to Moon Girl. And the suit up says a shuffle, so let's shuffle our deck. And that will resolve the effects of the suit up here. Okay, then we're going to exhaust ingenuity to generate a mental resource. This would be two more mental resources here for a total of three. So we can play Moon Girl. Play only if your identity has a genius shit, which you do have. We're drawing three cards using three mental resources to put her down. So one, two, three. Okay, this suit up is great because I want to get Professor X here. Um, let's see. So we can confuse Magneto again for his activation. Then. Uh, and we try to go for the kill next turn. So we want to get we want to get Gamora down. We want to make the call our guy, and then we want to do that. So, do we have the resource for that? I think first we play Gamora. So this would be. Three resources here, so we play Gamora. Gamora says play only if your identity has a guardian trait. We have a guardian trait in Arch Eagle, then still honorary guardian. When Gamora enters play, we can exhaust nowhere. After the player plays a guardian ally, exhaust card, and we can draw a card. We drew into another suit up. Okay. Uh, then we gotta use it anyways. So let's use this as two resources. So we can play a, another suit up here. 
Our ego action search your deck in this cup for an ally and hope we can be attached to it. So this time we're going to look through our deck here for Professor X. Arms your hand, shuffle up our deck, and we're going to get an upgrade that can be attached to him, which is going to be our clarity purpose in our discard pile. Because the clarity purpose can attach to any ally. That's your hand, and that's going to resolve the effects of this suit art. Okay, and then I think I used this to play X. And then we're showing resource to get, oof, I want to get major victory down. Uh, we have to use CIT to ready him next turn, which is not how I want to do that. Or do we just let Magneto scheme here? No, I think it's better to not do that. I think we save the double in our hand. No, we need, we need the double. Okay, this is going to be three resources here. So we play Professor X, when he enters play, choose one and pick the one to confuse the villain. And then X is going to thwart for three and clear off the main scheme. So will take a consequential damage. And then, uh, let's, oh, oh, I forgot, when we use Salvage as a response, after you spend this card, we can put a tech upgrade from this card pile and put it on top of your deck. Uh, actually, do we want the battery pack right now? No, we, we don't want it. We're not going to show you the response. Oh, so we have X and Gamora. Oh, Gamora can mill us a card. Okay, Gamora oh, has a hero response. We can't do it right now in Arctic Eagle. That's fine. Gamora's going to swing for two at Magneto. That'll bring her from 10 down to 8. She'll take a consequential damage. And then Moon Girl is going to swing for two at Magneto. That'll bring her from 8 down to 6. Moon Girl will take two consequential damage. All right, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. And hopefully we can get the kill here this uh, next turn. We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so we're going to keep these three cards in our hand and draw back up to six here. And I don't know if there's any way for us to do a damage to major victory because I need to get him knocked out. I'm not sure how he can take damage though. So Magneto's turn is going to add two threats to the main scheme. He's going to scheme. He has his boost, but he's confused, so the scheme activation won't activate. Then in counter phase, we get one face down encounter card, which is an M-type Sentinel with guard. When he's defeated, give Magneto a tough stats card. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. All right, so it's, uh, at the end of round, if Professor X is in play, he's going to get this card here. And we have to go through a lot of damage here because there's a guard main. He's going to get toughness, and then we have to get through those hit points. But I think we're going to go for it. So let's exhaust Avengers Mansion. Draw a card. Return into Groot. Which I do like here. Do we play Groot? Uh, okay, let's use Tinkering. Action. Choosing this card tech upgrade control, our battery pack. And we can draw two cards. Uh, wait, wait. Do we use Salvage first? Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah. So we're going to tinker it and we can draw two cards now. And off you go. We're getting our hand size up here for this big turn. And I think I got to play Groot. It's a little bit more expensive than I like. Make the call for major victory. And then we have Gamora here. There's only one particle cannon left. Uh, but we can overkill that toughness. Okay, uh, let's see here. We're going to... Let's... Uh, let's get Groot down. We're going to exhaust Ingenuity. Generate a mental resource. This would be two more resources here. For a total of three, so we can play Groot. Uh, right here. Play only if everybody has a Guardian trait. We have the Guardian trait here in our Ultra Ego, thanks to the Armory Guardian. When Groot enters play, we can exhaust nowhere because he's the Guardian ally that we just played, so we can draw a card. And then, what are we doing here? I would love to kill off. There's no way for us to have our allies take damage. Oh, we can have Gamora die. Okay, that will work. Okay, okay. Um... We need to get major victory in play here. So I think we make the call for him. 
bring them up and we blaze. Okay, so this would be two resources, or we're gonna play make the call. Actually, pay the printed cost of an alley and any player discard file, put that out into play under your control. So we're gonna look through our discard pile here for a major victory, who's a two cost ally. So two resources here, so we can play major victory. So we have our ally limit of four here, and we can have four allies thanks to the effects of nowhere. All right, then we're gonna go for the kill here. So let's flip over here to hero form. We're going to use this as two resources, Heavy Carry and the uh, I've Got This, so we can play Blaze of Glory. So let's just put it over here so we remember that we have it, and play now. Blaze of Glory says max one per round. Hero action, each Guardian character gets plus two Thor and plus two attack until the end of phase. And then at the end of the phase, do one uh, damage to uh, each uh, Guardian character. Okay, so this is our hand here. So everyone is a Guardian except for Moon Girl. So these guys all get the plus two, and Rock gets it as well. So, all right, let's see. We need to overkill the M-Type Sentinel. So we're going to have Gamora. And we want to do as little excess as possible. All right, if Major Victory swings for three, Harko Cannon can knock him out. No, Moon Girl is weaker. So Moon Girl is going to swing for two at the M type Sentinel. She'll take Consequent Damage. She gets defeated here. Then we're going to use our Particle Cannon, exhaust it, remove a counter, four damage to the enemy, and has overkill. So he has three life left. So it's going to do three damage on him. When he's defeated, he gives Manuel a tough side card with his own effect. So Manuel gets a toughness. Then we knock him out. And then uh, the overkill is going to one over. So it knocks off Manuel's tough stats card that he got. And then with the effect of murder you as a response, since we dealt as the damage to the enemy, we can draw a card with Rocket's effect. And we gotta reload. Okay, uh, oof, I don't know. I think Gamora is gonna fizzle here, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, uh, let's see. He has six life. We have four attack. Three, no, this is four, this is three. So it's gonna be uneven. I wanna hit perfectly here. Uh, let's use. Marihu as a resource, so it can play Rocket's Pistol. Uh, this is going to come in here with three charge counters. And then we can only have two restricted cards in play, so we must immediately discard one. Let's discard our other pistol here. Okay. And then we're going to exhaust the pistol. Wait, oh wait, we want to do extra damage to Magneto. Uh, Rocket has four attack. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Major Victory is going to swing here. For one plus two of the Blaze of Glory, so three damage on Magneto, that will bring it from three, or from six down to three. He'll take a consequential damage. Then we're going to have Rocky Raccoon swing here. We have four attack, because two of the Blaze plus one of the Skeleton, so it's a total of four. That will bring Magneto from three down to zero, and it's excess damage, because we did four damage. So because of the effects of Murder, when you do excess damage to any enemy, we can draw a card. You're into Nick Fury. Uh, then Magneto, uh, we popped him over, so it's going to flip over to his third and final stage here where he has 22 hit points. He has Steady, he has Toughness, and we'll review do each player face on counter card. So we have one face on counter card here. Okay, uh, and then we got his hit points, everything set up. Yeah, all right, so it's still our turn. We are going to, we need to get rid of his Tough. So let's exhaust Rocket's Pistol here, remove a counter, and we can do two damage to an enemy. That's gonna knock off Magneto's Tough Stats card. Then we're gonna have Gamora, Swing here for 2 plus 2 with Blaze, so 4 damage. I'll bring it from 22 down to 18. She's going to take a consequential damage. Gamora has a hero response. Our she attacks her thwarts. This card cards on top of your deck until you get an event. And add to your hand. We got an event here, so we can add straight to our hand. All right, that's really good. Um, then we're going to have Groot here. Swing for 2 plus 2 with Blaze of Glory, so 4 damage on Magneto. That's going to bring it from 18 down to 14. Groot will take 2 consequential damage. All right, then we're going to uh, we're going to use our CITT, exhaust this card, spend two resources of any type. This would be two resources here, so we can uh, actually wait a minute. Do we, if Major Victory leaves play, uh, wait if he gets Gamora out. If Gamora swings for one, we get a card. If we get another card, no, it's not enough. Okay, so we're going to use two resources here for a CITT. 
exhausted, spend two resources to write up another guardian character. And we're going to write up major victory here. Major victory is going to swing for three because he has a plus two with Blaze of Glory. And now you know again, that will bring from 14 down to 11. Then major victory is going to take consequent damage and he gets defeated. He has an interrupt. Whenever he's defeated, choose a friendly guardian character, ready that character. Let's ready up Gamora as our friendly guardian character. Gamora is going to swing here for 2 plus 2 with the blaze, so 4 damage on Magneto. That will bring from 11 down to 7. And she will take it, and then uh, before it happens, her hero response, we move from our top of our deck until we get an event. And this is not an event, so it fizzles, so we don't get any card. As we deck out, we get a face on encounter card here. And we immediately shuffle our deck back into discard pile, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think we're actually short uh, like 2 damage there. Oh man, I wonder if there's another way to play that. Oh, if we had an extra, if we had one more counter on particle cannon, that would have worked. Okay, Gamora will take Gonscore damage. She didn't get defeated here. We're going to trigger our wrap response. After an ally you control is defeated, discard this card, put the ally back into play on your control, and do one damage to it. So Gamora's going to have a damage there. Then Gamora's going to swing here for 2 plus 2 with the blaze. So 4 damage on Manu again. That will bring it from 7 down to three her response we discard until we get an event we got some allies here we got suit up as our event we add to her hand and then she'll take a consequential damage oof okay yeah we are short here uh we're short one damage do we i think we just do one damage anyways so let's use suit up as a resource to play reload here action ready each tech upgrade control particle cannon in our pistol then we're going to exhaust the pistol here Remove a counter, two damage to the end. We're going to hit Magneto for two. That'll bring it from three down to one. And then we are short one damage, and that's going to end our turn. So Blaze is going to resolve, and it says to, at the end of the phase, do one damage to each Guardian character. Rocket takes the damage. You're off from eight down to seven. Gamora takes one. She's knocked out, and Agut takes one damage. So he has uh, three life left. All right, that's going to end our turn. Let's write it back up. And this is looking really bad because we have three encounter cards here. And there are multiple activations. This could go bad for Rocket. We're going to draw back up to our hands as a 5. And yeah, I mean, we have the kill. We can just survive here, which I don't know what we can do. So it is Magneto's turn. He's going to add 2 to the main, so it goes up to 4. He's going to attack us if he gets this boost card here. Groot's going to block it. So same with a base of 4, uh, 5, 6. It is attacked if he's an ally. Place a mana counter in the main scheme. Okay, things are already going bad. So it does defeat Groot. We get a mana counter here. Groot's defeated. Then after Magneto attacks, he places a mana counter in main scheme. When there's three, we discard the three counters. Move from the encounter until we get a magnetic card and then reveal it. So we got one right here. Oh, the Amplify is not good for right now. Okay, so we got Magnetic Mayhem. When defeated, uh, there's a one defeat effect where we discard top four cards in the encounter deck and place uh, mana counters on the main scheme based on the amount of magnet cards. So this will have four threat, but the bad thing is the Amplify here is terrible. So he gets a Master of Magnetism. This could go bad. In Counter Phase, we can get a Face Down Encounter card. We have three Encounter cards here. We just got to survive this. First one, okay, it's an Assault. The Villain attacks you. Manuel is hitting us with a base of four plus a boost. Rock is going to defend. The boost here is two. So one, two, three, four, five, six damage. We defend for one. So we take five. That brings from seven down to two. Next Encounter card is Delgado, a minion here with Italian Teamwork. Okay, and we got M-Type Sentinel here with Guard. When defeat, give Manuel a tough status card. Okay, so we just barely survived here, I think. Um, so we have Guard, so we can't attack Magneto, but we have Nick Fear in our hand. So this is going to be super duper easy. Four resources here, so we can play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury enters play, choose one. We pick the one to do four damage to an enemy. That bypasses Guard and all the stuff, so four damage on Magneto. That will bring from one down to zero. In a super close game there, but that is Magneto on expert mode with Rocket Raccoon.